Hey what's up guys, I've been avoiding this video for a while and it's because it's really hard to do but I'll just power through it and go. So I said a couple weeks back that I was going to make an updated video on how to get money in 3 racing and I will show you the biggest result. I'm sorry, I have been very busy with a lot of stuff including learning Japanese, it's, there it is and other stuff that is going on throughout my day. So let's not waste much time here. In order to do this yourself, you can do it where you can send me your game file in Android data. I'll show you where. You go into your file manager, you go to Android data, scroll down until you see the com the rise tracing. I have a lot of games, I'm sorry about that. It should be here. This file, you take it and you zip that file. And once you zip that file, you can send it to my email, which I will leave in the description of this video. Now, that's the easy way to do it. Send it to me, I will do all of the getting your file up and making sure that you have everything running for you and it will all you just do when it comes back to you you just unzip it and put it in that same folder and bam you have a lot of money now i'm gonna show you how to do it by yourself if you have the space which is one i recommend you have a lot of space because and i recommend you have a lot of ram and a pretty decent phone or tablet because what this is and I will highlight it right here. What this is, is a Android emulator on my Android phone. What's so good about this one is that this one use root. And why I recommend you use it on a phone, why I recommend you use this app instead of actually rooting your phone is very simple. PUBG is a very popular game and PUBG auto bans anybody that use root on their phone. So this is a virtual machine. It's not on your phone. It's not tied with your phone exactly. So PUBG will not scan it and say, oh, look, your phone's rooted and you're going to get banned. No, it's not that way. This, this runs separate, so you won't get banned for it, which is pretty neat. Now, I recommend this way even over rooting your phone by yourself because if you're rooting your phone odds are you're not going to be able to play most of the new games that have better anti-cheat systems with all that introduction out of the way let's go to the video we are going into vmos now here we are so this is a Android version running is Android Lollipop, which is pretty cool. Now, there are a few things. If you go to Play Store and try to download this one, you will not get the perfect one. You need to go to Google or Chrome, whichever one you use. I like to use Chrome. And you want to search for this specific app. No thanks. Game Guardian, you actually want to download that as well. So keep in mind, you're going to want to download Game Guardian. Now we want to go and search for VMOS Root. VMOS Virtual Machine Operating System Double. So you search for the one that is the root version. If you download the latest version, the latest version does not support root because it had some legal problems being on Play Store with root. So Play Store wasn't really up with that, so they had to change the system. But you can technically use a time machine, go back in time, and get an app that was supporting of the root because both apps are different. So it's pretty good. But there is a thing about it as well. I don't think you can run both of them at the same time. So it's best to keep the one with root. So it doesn't come with root. 
directly. There's some steps you need to take in order to go there. Go into settings. I'm not talking into your actual full settings. I'm talking this settings. This is your actual settings. This is normal settings. Now this is the one you need to go into. Now go into settings and you go down to system settings. You take a while to load. You go down about device and you'll type the bill number. I think it's this. No, it's not this. Build number. One of these is a build number, but I don't remember which. Because as I said, I'm learning Japanese, so most of these I'm not familiar with yet. I know the letters and stuff like that, but I'm not proficient with it yet. So you need to type tap the build number until you see developers option come up. And once you go into developing options, there will be this available and you just need to click it. Restart this over again and your virtual machine will be rooted. Now let's go in directly into getting your game, getting the money out of the game. You need Game Guardian. Now, once you install Game Guardian, it's going to reinstall itself with two setups. You have the hardware setup, which is HW, and the software setup. And I could explain each fully for you, but to give a basically small menu of a setup, hardware basically deal with manipulating the hardware so any games that are on hardware or any kind of files or something that is on hardware you can use the hardware version to deal with your stuff software is basically anything that has to do with software it's like applications and stuff like that both of them you can use in either form so what you need to do is go into it i like to use hardware because this is hardware version and this button right here at the bottom right is what you need to start it and then you start up and then you go into the game once you're in the game you're going to hack the will that be fast enough to all right let's just play this card If I can get this video in the 10 minutes, I won't need to use this. If I can get this video on the 10 minutes, I don't need to do anything really. So we have a thousand dollars. Um we could get some money here, but we don't really have anything to spend it on in order to make the money fix. So let's go and do one race. I skipped it. I skipped a uh, uh, option or something like that. Now I have to be absolutely precise with this. So we got the money. What we basically want was not the money, but was just for to unlock something that can be bought, which we is gonna be crucial for what we're gonna do. Now, the we unlock all the engines. You just need the first one. So. Here's how you do it. The current money we have is 1447. We need to open the game guardian. It will bring up the search for the game that you want to hack into. The street racing comes up. This is the one you go for. You see a lot of options on the sidebar there. Don't be too confused. Click the one that looks like the, the magnifying glass that doesn't have the the question mark over it. I could explain which one, what the quest question mark one does and what the number sign one does, but this is the one you want to use right now. Now, you're gonna, the, the question, the tree question right here, click D word. And you don't have to click D word if you want to. Now, 1447, if I can remember. This is fine. 
So it's gonna search through and find all the 1,447. And you can see there's a lot. Don't do anything right now. What you need to do is come out and go to here and change the amount of money you have right now. So this is gonna take away $405 from off me. You take it off and now it's 1,042. Now we need to refine that number now once we launch back this again, it's going to ask you to refine the number. And that is where you type in 1042, uh, basically the number that you have right now. So you're going to go refine and you're going to type 1042. So you type, you, you click the, the search button again and you type and you refine. Now this is the one file. The, now it has located the one file that we were using and you can modify this to this content. Now I need about like say 10 million. Zero, 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 zero. And refine. And that should be it. Now you see nothing has changed. What we need to do is to change the value again in order to get the money. So we go down and we buy this one for $495. And now we have nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand five hundred and five and this is actual money because i can spend it all i like now if you end up in a video that people talk about using this app on like online games and they hack it and you see the money come up, but when you try it, you hack it, and then you move to a different location or anything, and then the money just goes all the way. That is because of hacking a game that is based on the phone rather than a game that is completely online. It's totally different. And most games, or most smaller games that rely more on transactions keep their inventory that is money inventory and stuff like that server based so it's very difficult for you to hack it games do make the mistake and put the money on the client base like this one which is nice because this is basically an offline game but you can play online with your friends and that basically makes it a lot easier for you to you know hack and stuff like that so if i should give you a background about me before i did youtube and, and stuff like that i the hacking was basically my life so that that's the said i used to hack develop stuff the most the biggest thing i'm proud of of myself is when i put a ios os on a android kitkat no android yeah, an Android Jelly Bean. I think it was iOS that went on iPhone 5s at the time. And I was extremely impressed by it. And it was a bare iOS, the real 100% iOS software that I was running on that account, which was pretty cool. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry I didn't make this video very sooner, but I have a class starting in a little bit as well. So Japanese class. So it, I've been really busy, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. I will try to see if I can make some treatments and videos and stuff like that during this week. I hope I can. And I'll see you next time.